Welcome to Oracle Coherence Screencast Series. I'm Luke Ho, an engineer from Coherence Development Team. In this screencast, I'll talk about the Coherence REST enhancements in 12.1.2 release. Coherence is part of Oracle Cloud Application Foundation. Again, this screencast focuses on the REST enhancements, and we expect you to be already familiar with Coherence REST. Here is a list of enhancements added to Coherence REST in 12.1.2 release. We added support for key set retrieval, multiple resource providers, named queries, pluggable query engines, and security. Key set retrieval. In addition to value set, you can now retrieve just the key set, either entirely or filtered, from entries stored in cache. It provides a more scalable approach for dealing with expected large result sets. Key operations, however, do not support paging and sorting. So if those query parameters are submitted, they are ignored. Here are some examples on the key operations. The first example retrieves the entire key set from the cache. The second example retrieves a filtered key set that satisfies the query. And the last example uses a named query to retrieve a key set. We'll talk about named query later. Multiple resource providers. Before, you can only configure one resource provider for each HTTP server embedded in a coherence proxy server. You can now register multiple resource providers or web applications to coherence REST. Here is an example where we defined two resource providers in HTTP acceptor configuration. The first one is under root. The second one is under internal. Here are examples on how to get data from each provider. The first example makes a query from the root provider and the second one makes a query from the internal provider. Named queries. This feature allows you to define query expressions with named queries for a resource in coherence rest config.xml file. Since the query expression is in XML file, any special characters such as less than, greater than, must be escaped using the corresponding entity. We'll see an example in the next slide. This feature provides a server-side mechanism to guard against execution of ad hoc client queries and gives you complete control of the queries allowed against your cache. By default, direct query is disabled. To enable it, you need to add a direct query element for each resource and set the enabled attribute to true. Here we defined two named queries, minors and the name query for the resource persons 
in coherence rest config.xml file. Notice the query expression for minors has a special character, less than, which is escaped. And the name query takes one parameter, name. We enabled direct queries here. Here are how the named query used. The first example uses the minors named query to get all the persons under age 18. The second query use name query to get all the persons whose name are Mark. Pluggable Query Engines We added the support to allow users to plug in their own query engines. To use custom query engine, users must implement two interfaces, the query engine interface and the query interface. When implementing your query engine, you can query from not only coherence cache, but also other data source, such as database. Once you implement your query engine, you need to config coherence rest in coherence rest config.xml file to define and use the custom engine. In the coherence rest config.xml file, you define your custom query engine in query engines element. Here, we defined a custom engine named my engine, which is implemented by package.myQueryEngine class. Then, configure your resource to use the custom engine in the query. Here, we defined a named query less than a thousand that uses my engine for resource person. We also enabled direct query and have it use the custom engine. Here are two examples. The first one uses less than a thousand query we just defined. And the second one is a direct query. Both of them will use my engine. Security. We added the support for authentication and authorization to coherence REST. Authentication support includes HTTP basic, client-side SSL certificate, and client-side SSL certificate together with HTTP basic. Authorization support relies on the underlying Oracle Coherence Extend authorization framework. To enable authentication, we need to specify the authentication method in HTTP acceptor. and then define the authentication configuration.
To use HTTP BASIC, we specify the authentication method to be BASIC. The BASIC HTTP authentication requires a Java Authentication and Authorization Service login module. To specify a login module, modify the coherence home lib security login dot login module and include a coherence rest entry that specifies the login module to use. Here is an example. This example uses coherence provided Java key store login module implementation in coherence home lib security coherence dash login dot jar. If you use this login module, don't forget to add coherence home lib security coherence dash login dot jar to the proxy server class path. To use SSL certificate, specify authentication method to be cert, and then define an SSL socket provider in HTTP acceptor. Here is an example on a SSL socket provider. You can also reference a SSL socket provider configuration that is defined in the socket providers element of the operational deployment descriptor. In this example, we made a reference to my SSL socket provider. To use HTTP BASIC along with SSL certificate, you specify the authentication method to be CERT plus BASIC. Make sure you configure a Java authentication and authorization service login module for HTTP BASIC and define an SSL socket provider in HTTP acceptor. Authorization. Coherence REST relies on the Oracle Coherence Extend Authorization Framework, which allows you to provide authorization intercept classes in proxy services to restrict which operations a REST client can perform on a cluster. Here is a pointer to the documentation on the framework. To summarize, the enhancements added to Coherence REST in 12.1.2 release are key set retrieval, multiple resource providers, named queries, pluggable query engines, and security. If you have any feedbacks or suggestions for coherence, we would like to hear from you. We invite you to come join this large, vibrant community. We have a pretty significant engagement through various social media channels like Twitter and Facebook. This concludes the screencast for Coherence REST enhancements in 12.1.2 release. Thank you for watching.